Yeah. Well, it's worked yeah. all day. <laughs> Uh, right, this is called a question of information. Um, the object of the game is the first team to have a complete scoreboard. Each team has a sheet that looks like this, with six colours across the top and three rows down. And it's a bit like bingo in that you're putting a colour counter when you get a correct answer in the relevant square. The questions are one point, two points or three points depending on the level of the question. So they can choose what level they, they do. They spin that, and that is a yellow question. And so if you want uh, the yellow question, uh, level one is name a credible website for your subject. Okay, level two is name three resources that you can access as a college student. And level three is name three things you use to evaluate a resource. Okay. But we don't tell them what the... Do they're we? not named, the categories, so basically you can change, you can have a big question bank and change it depending on if you're doing research for a particular assignment or yeah. a more general thing on information. It can be utilised for all different yeah. types of things. We, we actually had six different categories of questions that were pretty much interlinked because they're all to do with research and information literacy, but they don't, you know... That was to help us write the questions, which I'm not sure it did, but <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's, the, that's the way it works, so that if they, they answer the level three question, you know, name three things you can use to evaluate a resource, they can then put three counters on there. They've filled done, up that one already. That one. Yeah. And then you spin round and go on and so forth, and the first group to finish yells something we haven't decided what, <laughs> probably information. <laughs> <laughs> Um, have I missed anything, people? No, we didn't. Um, we talked about different numbers of teams, didn't we? Depending on, we said ideally two, but it could be done with a different number of teams. Yeah. Um, we also thought that this could be actually done electronically because I'm sure there must be an electronic spin board available somewhere. Or a giant so, spin mm. the wheel, we like the idea of as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, get, get more work into <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, um, so that was the theory. But the, the, basically, the, the questions could be on pretty much anything at all. Mm. You know, any, any, any information topic you wanted to make it on. Or not even information, yeah, if you wanted to adapt. Two, like, two white. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so, um, one is like miss a girl, it's like you miss your turn, and the other one is you choose which colour you want to play. Like, what question you want to answer. But the cards deliberately to promote discussion, wasn't it? It wasn't just yeah, yes or no. So, the whole group are actually learning while the people are answering questions and if they don't know it's no biggie just the next group go around but it's there to facilitate the learning aspect of it which I'm sure all the games were but certainly with our questions that's what we're concentrated on. Mm -hmm. Alright, brilliant, thank you.